like I think uh, what I want people to know or talk about is just kind of kind of why 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 do I do this um, because I've asked myself that a lot and we've had a lot of things that have happened that have kind of confirmed the why I'm doing what I'm doing why I'm writing music why I'm putting any kind of time effort or money into any of this and so that that would be the the question that why why do you do why do you do this and the answer to that honestly is like I said we write a I used to be really I used to almost apologize for writing like sad music or heavy songs because I go do a set and feel like I had to play something upbeat and happy that people could dance to and we have some of those songs but I stopped apologizing and started being more honest with myself and you know, the more that we, we share songs and people reach out, you know, we shared, we end our shows with that song, Count of the Stars, and the stories that people come up to, to us afterwards and say, hey, this is what I'm going through right now. And we had, uh, I won't go into detail, but we had something like that happen this weekend. We're like, I broke into tears after our show because some someone shared like, hey, this is what that song meant to me. And it's helping me get through this. Like that's one of the most humbling things. Like, and I, I think for me, music was a safe place for me to realize that one that I could turn to it, and that I wasn't alone. And so, my biggest hope and my big why is like, I want people, especially in this this day and age, like there's so much stress and depression and anxiety. And we isolate and feel alone in that and think that no one else knows what we're going through. But chances are someone very close to you does know. And so my hope is that people would feel that, feel less alone when they, when they hear, hear some of these songs, if that makes sense. That's, I've been thinking a lot about why. You want people to feel less alone with your songs. And I think that is that is maybe as profound as it gets or maybe as, as good as it gets. I think that you mentioned the other day um, that we were talking, you've been evaluating your goals with music. And I think we have so many songwriters and musicians in our audience that that need to hear that your goals should be things like that um, because you can't control what your songs do to people. You can't control how many people listen to it. Um, so, so what are some of the goals that you've, you've been reflecting on? Like what is, what is an ideal music life for you? Um, well, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of changed, you know, this past year, um, a lot more people, I mean, the following that we have, over half that's from this past year from uh, getting connected with Zach Bryan and then also and doing shows with him. We got to do a number of shows with him and then also getting connected with Sadler. So more people are hearing our music and, you know, hopefully more people are feeling less alone when they hear. And so there's been this just demand that has never been there. And so it's caused me to reflect. I'm like, okay, like I'm working full time. I have a family. All my energy can't go into music. If I'm going to put energy into this, what is this going to look like? Yeah. Um, and that life for me is not out on, I'm not, I'm not about to book 150 shows. I'm not going to go. Breeze, can, can we just get an amen there? I'm yeah. not trying to play 200 shows this year. I, so I want to, I, you know, these which shows, my, which my demand and your demand are two very different things. Have, like you have, have demand. demand. But if I want to feed my family, I would have off of music and shows. That's what I would have to do. Well, so, I just I make that comment not as like I, people are just asking me to play show. Ain't nobody asking me to play shows. We different get, than yeah. Than you. So, but I'm saying if I if I wanted to just like I don't plan on this, but like if I quit my job today and wanted to make it music, I better hit the road and book and hustle as for as much money and merch that I can. And I know people that do that, that are killing it. And I have so much respect for them. 
Um, but I'm, I'm definitely a family man in, in a homebody. And I, you know, became more selective with the shows I was doing. Like I don't do background music over televisions. I've done that before, you know, where you're at a venue or you're just, they're paying you, but no one's listening. Yeah. And I don't knock the people that are doing that, but I just, we, we just, I just have certain goals where it's like, okay, I, I would love to be able to, for music to provide for my family. Um, I'd love to have, I don't, I don't want to hit the road and struggle and not see my kids. Yeah. And, I think that we don't talk about this a lot. Like, so many people sell it as you either uh, like the purist or like you only do music because you love it and you hit the road and you sleep on the floor, uh, period. But then... And I respect I respect the that's, hell out of that. I do. That's I great. Sh- um, but I personally don't want that for my life, the same as you. And I think there's another path, which is work a job like I'm a teacher and uh, and then I get to still make music. It's different. It's not like if I was doing it all the time, that would be awesome. Yeah. Um, but I think there's there's the road of doing it part time to hopefully maybe building it up to being full time one day. And I and just don't think many be, people are talking about that. Yeah.